yesterday. At the action yesterday. UCPD. UCPD. Open fire. Open fire. With some sort of rubber bullet. With some sort of rubber bullet. They shot me in the legs. They shot me in the legs. Three times. Three times. Three times. It hurts. It hurts. It bleeds. It bleeds. And it was fucked up. And it was fucked up. What's next? If you guys want to join us, if you guys want to join us on a march to end police brutality, on a march to end police brutality, on campus, on campus, please come, please come. We're going to student help. We're going to student help to get my wounds looked at. To get my wounds looked at. Police brutality's got to go. Hey hey, ho oh, oh. ho. Police brutality's got to go. Hey hey, ho oh, oh. ho. Police brutality's got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho, police brutality's got to go. No justice, no peace, no racism. Student. Because I'm not a registered student. And I don't have health insurance. They don't have health insurance. They gave me some referrals to clinics. They gave me some referrals to clinics. Ah. So it's uh, kind of lame. Do we so, so wait, the system sucks? Yeah. No, not in America. Wow. Not in America. Uh, so my name is Anthony. I'm from Occupy LA. Uh, I came here to protest the Regents meeting. Um, Basically, uh, campus police, or rather the sheriff's department was called, and they uh, barged through a sit-in that was going on, and they I saw that they had touched a woman who was there, and uh, she was like in pain. So we went and grabbed a barricade and brought it over to defend the protesters from the police. They started pulling the, bar the barricade back from me. Um, I pulled back, and then they unleashed three bullets uh, of paint and lead on me. Uh, the bullets right here. And the, the paint wounds are on my leg. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna take out my pants soon and show you the actual wounds. I think And if you want to compare knees. This is like from three feet away. My check! My check! My check! My check! Yesterday! Yesterday! UCPD! UCPD! Shot me in the leg! Shot me in the leg! Protesting peacefully. We were protesting peacefully. Protesting health services. Protesting health services. Refuse to give me treatment. Refuse to give me treatment. We're gonna protest at Chancellor White's office. We're gonna protest at Chancellor White's office. If you'd like to join, if you'd like to join, please do. 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 Well, basically, at the protest yesterday, UCPD started pulling out uh, what looked like paintball guns. Um, they fired three rounds at my legs, one of them left this huge gash. And I found out later that they're not actually paintball guns or rubber bullets. They're plastic capsules filled with lead and paint. Like that, right there. Yeah. That's what they're shooting. So since he's... What? You're injured. Yeah, well, I'm injured. And I wanted to go get health services from the campus health services since campus police shot me. And uh, they refused to take any sort of responsibility for it. Who is accountable?
Jim Sandoval. We spoke to Jim Sandoval. Told him what happened. Told him what happened. And he's gonna get Chancellor White and bring him down here. And he's gonna get Chancellor White and bring him down here. He said that he, he can definitely give us, give me some health services. He said he can definitely give me some health services. And it looks like he'll probably get Chancellor White down here too. And it looks like he'll probably get Chancellor White down here too. What, um, you know, what's, what, what, yeah, what happened, what do you do in, in situ situations like, what's the procedure for going about getting and justice for the injured, whatever, you know? I saw in one video that they had, um, yeah, hey, here's the bullet. It's not a rubber bullet, okay, it's leaded. It's metal inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know I, you said... I was just buying coffee. For okay, I, I know that uh, you said 10 minutes. He just was closing up a couple things, but uh, he'll be down here in a moment. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You, you know, in the, in the meantime, I, I'd like to, to know what happened to the campus health center. Yeah. I just went over there and it resulted in the... No, no, I, I understand the, 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 the injury. I, I just... You know, I, just want to I went over there and asked if they could see me, and they said that I'm not a student or uh, have health insurance, so I can't see me. Okay, so, so are you a student? No. Okay. But he was shot by UCC. I, I, I understand. We're going to keep saying it. <laughs> we have students who got shot. They're not here. It's caused by a UC employee. It should be treated by the UC. Uh, we just came down here to find out who's accountable. Who is in charge of the what? police? Mm -hmm. Who allowed them to shoot protesters? So, um, first of all, we just talk to the Well, it hurts right now. It's pretty slow. Uh, you can compare. You can compare me. Is yeah. I'm good of a team in there. Yeah. So my my uh, academic background is pretty good. Uh, do you would <laughs> So he said the student health services can't treat me. So he's gonna see if I have a he has a first aid kit somewhere in the building that can help me out. And what else were you gonna say? Let me just make the call and see if we've got something. Would you and if not would you like student health services to document your injury? I would. I would like student we can't file a police report until uh, student, student health services documented. Yeah, I believe by law and policy cannot treat non-students, so I don't think that's an alternative. Does that come down to the, uh, so the we can, we can risk get, management office? No, no, I think it's just well, well, Campus Health Services Center is funded by student fees, and as Chancellor Nikkei a lot more students, we'll about students. newspaper for the. Well, he doesn't. He obviously doesn't want to have to go to the police station yes. to document the injury. So, what's the alternative? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. For I'm going to give him a first aid kit. Okay, so we're going to take care of it. I'll take a picture of it. Okay, I'm going to get your name. What are you a doctor? Just yes. a sports do physician. A, do we have a a first? Yeah, I'd like a first aid kit, and if we have um, a baggie and put some ice in there. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, basically we were there with the rest of the protest. Uh, back side. Yeah. Uh, we, I saw that someone was getting, a woman was getting touched by officers in front of the protest. They were all sitting in. So we moved the barricades up to the front to defend the protesters from the police. We didn't know what they were going to do. And then uh, one of them unloaded three bullets on them. Yeah. And I guess there was a press release afterwards that said that they were rubber bullets, um, but I picked them up off the ground later and I saw that they're in fact not rubber bullets. They're filled with lead and they're plastic. What do you mean? Like, I mean? Did you get any warnings at all? No. Yeah. I didn't even know there were guns, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um... Oh, there was no warning in the back, by the way. Yeah, we have... So, so the whole thing, I mean, everybody's got tape, videotapes and things like that. So what we're doing is we're analyzing all these videotapes. Okay. And uh, then if I can get your name and phone number or email or something, we can get back to you once I've 
at all right now. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's, I wanted us to take care of this. Um, is there any way that we can also document this? Uh, I want to have some sort of paper thing that allows me to fill out a police report. He wants to be seen by a, a health professional. Okay. I can't. I'm not a health professional. He's not eligible right. to use the student so health center. So you could go down to uh, Riverside Community Hospital, go into emergency, and they will treat you even if you're uninsured. And you can't pay. So to be clear, he. So to be clear, he is eligible to be shot by campus police, but he's not eligible to be treated by campus medics. Is that what you're saying? I think that's actually factually accurate. 